ओके हेलो एवरी वन वन अगेन वेलकम टू पी एम नेटवर्किंग गाय दिस इज डे एट दिस इज डे एट ऑफ वन हंड्रेड मोस्ट आस्ट नेटवर्क इंजीनियर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर सीरीज टिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस थर्टी फाइव क्वेश्चन थर्टी फाइव मोस्ट आस्क नेटवर्क इंजीनियर इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन विथ आंसर एंड टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस फाइव मोर मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर नेटवर्क इंजीनियर इंटरव्यू सो गाइज विदाउट वेस्टिंग आवर टाइम लेट्स बिग गेन सो क्वेश्चन फॉर द डे इज फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन फॉर द डे इज वॉट इज डिफॉल्ट रूट्स वॉट इज डिफॉल्ट रूट्स गाइज मेनी टाइम नेटवर्क इंटरव्यूअर इज आस्किंग टू नेटवर्क इंजीनियर टू एक्सप्लेन डिफॉल्ट रूटिंग डिफॉल्ट रूट राइट मैनी ऑफ माई पेड स्टूडेंट फेस दिस क्वेश्चन इन इंटरव्यू राइट जस्ट टू डे बैक If I talk about uh, one of my student who placed in CSS Cops, the same question interviewer asked to my student, right? So that's why I mentioned this question here, right? So this is also very very important question for network engineer interview. Interviewer can ask you to explain default routes. So what is default route, guys? A a default route is a route that take effect when no other route available for a destination network in the routing table. so actually router forward traffic router forward packet on the basis of ip address on the basis of destination ip address and router maintain routing table to forward traffic right but what will happen if router will not found any entry in their routing table suppose here is one router this is my r1 router and here is one network here i am running network 10.0.0.0 okay and here is one more network that is 20.0.0.0/8/8 slash slash okay so router maintain routing table to forward traffic now in routing table of this router there is two entry that on my fast ethernet 0/0 one network is directly connected that is 10.0.0.0 and one more entry are there that is on fast ethernet 0/1 a network is directly connected and that network is 20.0.0.0/8 now whenever this router will receive a traffic from this network right and in the destination ip address there is ip address from this network right so how router will came to know that i will out that that traffic from this interface actually router will look up their routing table they will came to know that okay 20 network is connected to my fast ethernet 0/1 and after that this router will or this traffic from this interface but if router will not found any entry in routing table suppose router is receiving one traffic on this interface on fast ethernet 0/0 and in that traffic source is 10.1 and destination is 30.1 right so when router will look up their routing table router router will check destination ip address is 30.1 that means network id router will calculate network id by performing and operation then this router will came to know that network id of this ip address is 30.0.0.0 now to forward a traffic in 30 network they will check their routing table but is there any entry in their routing table so no if there is no any entry then router will check is there any default route is there any default route if, if there is one default route then router will forward that traffic towards default route so default route is in is an is a route that takes effect when no other routes available for a destination network in the routing table whenever there will be no no a uh, specific destination network is available in routing table of router then router will forward that traffic towards default route fine first thing second thing a default route define where packet will be sent if no specific route for the destination network is list is listed in the routing table if router will not found any any specific route for a destination network then router will forward that traffic to our default route right if no default route is set then router will discard all packet with destination address not found in their routing table if router will not found any destination network in their routing table then router will check is there any default route if there is no default route then definitely router will drop that 
traffic. Actually, we configured default route on edge router. On edge router, router which is connected to ISP. So I don't know there is mil billion of network running behind ISP, right? Right. So I will, I will configure one default route toward ISP because it's not not possible to configure default routes for one one million network for or for one thousand network as well, right? So we will configure a default route towards ISP. Okay. So you have to keep in mind if you are preparing for network engineer, what is default route? Okay. Let me move on. Next question. So default route is nothing. It is also a route route that take takes effect when no other routes is available for a destination network in the routing table. Okay. Let me move on. Next question. And next question is what is switching? What is switching? Guys, switching is the process of data forwarding from one device to another device in the same network, in the same network, right? And uses hardware address, that is MAC address. Hard, you can say hardware address or MAC address, both are same. Uses switch, uses hardware address to make communication possible in local area network, or you can say in LAN. Actually, switching is a process of forwarding data from one device to another device in a network, right? You can speak like this. Switching is a process of, of forwarding a data packet from one device to another device in a network, right? When data comes on the port, it is called ingress. And when data leave a port or goes out from a port, it called egress. Okay. So this is also good question right maybe your interviewer can ask you so okay so this question is also very very important question what is switch port so switch port guys what is switch port switch port means a port which forward traffic or switch port is a port which forward data on the basis of layer 2 information on the basis of layer 2 information Actually, router forward traffic on the basis of layer 3 information. That's why we call router is a layer 3 device. And switch forward traffic on the basis of layer 2 address. That's why we call switch is a layer 2 device. So all the port of switch will forward data on the basis of layer 2 information or 2 address, layer 2 address. So that port is known as switch port, right? A switch port is a port which forward data on the basis of layer 2 information you can see right switch port is a port which forward data on the basis of layer 2 information that's it there are two types of switch port first one is access port and second one is trunk port okay there are two types of switch port first one is access port and second one is trunk port guys access port means a access port is a switch port which can carry a traffic of single vlan which can carry a traffic of only single VLAN and trunk port is also a switch port but trunk port is a port which can carry a traffic of multiple VLAN which can which can carry traffic of multiple VLAN okay so what do you mean by switch port or what is switch port if your interview will ask to you then you have to speak like this switch port is a port which forward traffic on the basis of layer 2 information there are two types of switch port first one is access port and second one is trunk port access port is a port which can carry traffic of only single vlan and access and, and trunk port is a port which can carry traffic of multiple vlan okay so let me move on next question this is question number 38 okay so question number 39 is what is what are the function of what are the function of switch guys what are function of switch there are three functions of switch, right? First one is address learning. Second one is filtering and forwarding. And third one is loop avoidance. Actually, whenever switch will receive any traffic on any interface, suppose this is my switch. And here is some computer connected whose MAC address is 0A, whose MAC address is 0B, right? So whenever this switch will receive any traffic on this interface, right? So in that traffic, that frame source will be 0a and destination can be anything destination suppose destination is all f means broadcast 
whenever switch will receive this frame on this interface first working of switch first function of switch is MAC address learning switch will learn source MAC address switch will make entry in their MAC address table that on my interface suppose the interface ID of this interface is 0 slash 0 so switch will make entry in their MAC address table that interface 0 slash 0 a computer is connected whose MAC address is 0 a right so first function of switch is address learning so whenever switch will receive any traffic on any interface switch will learn source MAC address and on the basis of destination MAC address on the basis of destination address switch will take forwarding decision right and if switch are connected in circular then there there is chance that loop can be formed or definitely loop will form right so we are running stp protocol to avoid that loop right so third function of switch is loop avoidance okay so let me move on next question and last question of the day so types of flooding guys this is very very really very very important question this is very high question your interviewer can ask you this question like uh, what is the difference between broadcast and flooding what are the types of flooding what is flooding right so guys remember there are four types of flooding first one is broadcast flooding second one is unicast flooding third one is a non unicast flooding and fourth one is multicast flooding so what do you mean by broadcast flooding whenever a switch will receive a broadcast message whenever a switch will receive a broadcast frame switch will do broadcast flooding actually all device is doing flooding router is also doing flooding switch is doing flooding right so whenever switch will receive a frame and in that frame destination address is broadcast then switch will do broadcast flooding if a switch will receive a traffic if a switch will receive a frame and they will found unicast address in destination mac address field then switch will do unicast flooding the, but remember guys when switch will receive a, a frame on a interface of switch and they will not found the destination address in their mac address table then switch will do a non unicast flooding then switch will do a non unicast flooding a non unicast flooding means the message which switch is receiving the traffic the frame which switch is receiving that frame is unicast but switch don't know about the destination mac address where destination device is connected on which interface device is connected destination device is connected then switch will do a non unicast flooding to ask all computer whose mac address is this one suppose for example we have one switch this is my switch and we have some computer okay suppose the mac address of this computer is a mac address of this computer is b this interface id is 0 slash 0 0 slash 3 and this is 0 slash 2 so now suppose pc1 is sending one frame to pc3 so source mac will be a and destination mac will be b this frame will received by switch on this interface now switch will first thing switch will make entry in their mac address table that on my interface 0 slash 0 a computer connected whose mac address is a after that switch will take check destination mac address so destination mac address switch will take forwarding decision on the basis of destination mac address so destination mac address is b now switch will came to know that destination mac address is b now i have to send this traffic to computer whose mac address is b now to find computer whose mac address is b switch will check their mac address table and switch will not found any entry right you can say there is no any entry for b computer a computer whose mac address is b then switch will do a non unicast flooding right to ask to this pc that whose mac address is b now this machine will not reply this machine will reply so whenever this machine will reply when uh, switch will receive frame on this interface again switch will learn that my interface 0 slash 3 a machine is connected whose mac address is b right and last one is multicast flooding so whenever switch will receive a frame and in, in that frame in destination field in destination address field if switch will found multicast address then switch will do multicast flooding that's all for today these five questions are 
वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर नेटवर्क इंजीनियर इंटरव्यू ओके सो गाइज दैट्स ऑल फॉर टूडे इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज इट ऑन लाइक बटन वी विल मीट इन नेक्स्ट वीडियो विथ मोर फाइव इंटरेस्टिंग एंड इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ऑफ नेटवर्क इंजीनियर इंटरव्यू now i am leaving this video i am ending this video if you haven't subscribe my channel please subscribe this channel right we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye guys bye bye